The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Botest.com, and in this video, I'm going to conduct a features inspection and performance evaluation on the top of the line boat by Axopar, the Brabus Shadow 500. There's been a happy marriage since 2017 of instantly recognizable Finnish boat builder Axopar and Brabus, the renowned upgrader of high performance luxury cars, to produce a boat that gives a shot of adrenaline to the sports weekender market. And the relationship shows no sign of slowing down. This has virtually every option available, and as they're all top of the line, it's just stunning. Let's start by looking at her features. The aft deck is accessed from both port and starboard and can be outfitted with one of three different layouts. It can be left open, outfitted with an aft cabin, or this wet bar. It includes a full length hatch with grab rail. Open the hatch to reveal a 12 volt cold box, a sink, and storage below. A portable grill can be placed on the right, otherwise it's an open serving area. To the side is a stereo remote. In the deck just behind, a cavernous storage compartment that stretches under the forward deck, and the latches are lockable. All three of the stern layouts will have storage compartments to the quarters with top hatches that open with turn and lock latches. If the smooth side of the latch shows, it's locked, rough side unlocked. The port compartment is insulated and includes a manual bilge pump and freshwater shower. Both drain to the deck and overboard. Flip tie downs are just ahead with a fire extinguisher ahead of that. One of the boat's six eight inch cleats is mounted to the cap rail just beyond. And she makes an ideal tender. Notice the five inch rub rail surrounding the boat. Against the transom is a pair of staple rails ahead of the engines that have curves to the uprisers. This allows them to be reversible providing more cockpit space one way and room to tilt the engines out of the water the other. To the sides is modest room for transitioning from the aft deck and onto the two platforms. The port side having the reboarding ladder. A water sports tow bar runs from one platform over the engines and down to the other. Power for the Shadow 500 is a pair of Burke 250 Pro XS V8s. The transom has been upgraded to handle mounting the outboards. They're controlled by a high performance steering system and joined by a tie bar. Walkways to both sides allow a transition forward. Rails the entire length are only interrupted by 8 inch midship cleats. The helm area is accessed from the port side and down a 10 inch step. The helm console is starboard mounted and receives some significant upgrades under the Brabus umbrella. It begins with dual 12 inch Garmin multifunction displays on a raised pod. They're fully loaded with radar, music and engine integration and are mounted to a carbon fiber panel. Electrical push buttons are just behind. The real showpiece is the upgraded ISM steering wheel. It's mounted to a tilt base. The stationary hub has buttons to the left that control the boat trim and the bow thruster. Buttons to the right control the audio system. The Brabus logo is in the center, and being that this is in a fixed position, you'll only put your finger in the wheel spokes to turn it just once. To the left of the wheel is the vessel view display, showing the engine diagnostics, which can also be shown on the 12 inch displays. To the right is the digital throttle and shift binnacle. Underneath are the ignitions, engine shut off, a VHF, and a convenient storage pouch. Below is the upgraded footrest, a la Brabus. It's polished aluminum with non-skid treads. The left observer's position has a wrapped and logoed grab handle and a storage cubby above that that includes USB and stereo connectivity. Beverage holders are just alongside. Visibility is through a 24 inch high wraparound windshield that continues well to the sides with minimalist mullions. The overhead is seven feet seven inches above this recessed deck. Both the helm and observer seats are mounted to a raised platform and are part of the Brabus upgrades treatment. There's premium silver tex upholstery with Brabus sport pattern stitching. The padding is upgraded and the seat back has a separate padded inset. Both seats include flip bolsters and flip armrests with carbon fiber trim. Molded storage attachments are fixed to the back sides of both. Alongside is a comfortable padded and upholstered armrest with storage beneath, repeated to the opposite bulwarks. Just behind the helm and observer seats are four passenger seats, of course all readily identified by the Brabus treatments. They have the same upgraded upholstery, padding and flip bolsters. The outboard seats have carbon fiber trimmed flip armrests and grab handles are integrated into the hardtop supports. A pedestal table can be added and this, along with the swiveling helm and observer seats, turns the area into a comfortable social zone. 
Additionally, the two forward seats lay on hatches over a refrigerated compartment and a sink. Decking is all S-Tech with drains in the corners. Above is protection from a canvas top supported by a fiberglass frame with LED lighting and held up by 2-inch black powder coated supports. The padded crossbars supporting the overhead are 5 feet 9 inches off the deck. On top is an antenna array that is custom built and it leaves a bridge clearance of 9.5 feet. We make our way forward by way of the 14 inch wide side decks where the bulwarks come up 22 inches and the rails top out at 27. The bow area starts out at 5 feet 2 inches wide and tapers down to 2 feet 8 inches fully forward. L-shaped seating is to port and across the bow. Being only to port makes a good compromise on space. A fiberglass table is on two fixed pedestals. These pedestals are mounted to a hatch that conceals the holding tank, bow thruster, power steering fluid, and water tank making them easily accessible. Also in this space is the battery charger. A thickly padded bolster wrapping around the entire bow serves as a backrest. Another Fusion Stereo Remote is just about the seat. Beneath the forward seat is a smart plug shore power connection. The table also mounts to shorter pedestals and a filler cushion converts the area into a large sun pad. Storage is under both the front and side seats, including for the carbon fiber poles and sunshade for adding protection for the entire bow. Forward is a hatch over the ground tackle. The hatch is held open with a stainless steel support strut. We'd like to see the hatch finished on the underside. Underneath is an electric windlass and road storage. The controls are to the right. The road leads to a recessed anchor roller with a safety latch on top. A polished plow style anchor does the heavy work. The head is accessed from a door to the front of the pilot house. This fully enclosed compartment offers 4 feet 2 inches of headroom and is upholstered throughout with Brabus fine leather. It includes an electric flush toilet, a large mirror on the aft bulkhead and a cabinet with black Corian countertop and a recessed sink. To the port side are storage, a circuit breaker panel, controls for the overboard macerator and the water pump. A polished aluminum step has the same non-skid treatments that we saw at the helm footrest. An optional canopy package can enclose the entire cockpit. Now for the numbers. The Brabus Shadow 500 has a length overall of 31 feet 3 inches, a beam of 9 feet 8 inches, and a draft of 2 feet 8 inches. With an empty weight of 4,056 pounds, 51% fuel, and two people on board, we had an estimated test weight of 5,714 pounds. With the twin Merc 250 Pro XS engines turning 13.6 by 21 inertia props and wound up to 5990 RPM, our speed topped out at 62.7 miles per hour. Best economic cruise came in at 3500 RPM and 31 miles per hour. At that speed, the 14.4 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 2.2 miles per gallon in a range of 144 statute miles, all while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 74 gallon total fuel capacity. As for her handling, as with all Axo Power boats, this was exciting to drive. She handles incredibly well and is quite responsive to the helm with the sports steering. She'll come up on plane in an average 3.1 seconds with minimal bow rise, cruise through 20 miles per hour in 3.9, and 30 came and went in 5.7 seconds. Most remarkable is the turning capability. She'll come around on a dime and most of that is accomplished by the stern sliding around so efficiently rather than grabbing the water and digging in and throwing everything to the side. And she'll do this with no prop ventilation, even in the trim configuration. Now we conducted this test in calm conditions and our tests have shown that these boats handle rough conditions extremely well. So we headed offshore in search of some waves, but even there they were unremarkable. Still, we did manage to see yet again how she just takes conditions so nicely. Her twin step tall and 20 degree dead rise just begs for more, so offshore runs are hardly a concern. There was no problem getting up to full speed out here. We did manage to get a little air and she stays level and re-enters with a soft touchdown. Now, this isn't a boat for everyone. She's the best of the best and the owner is one who wants to stand out from the rest of the Axopar fleet with no compromises. Robis takes an already great boat and makes it even more so with jaw-dropping features and amenities. For someone looking for it all, features, premium handling, topped off with upgrades, then the Brabus Shadow 500 by Axopar is just a thing. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.